everyone, and happy Monday. Hope everyone is doing well. I'm doing well here. Other than freezing, I woke up and the house is 63 degrees this morning. I am so cold. <sighs> but at the beach last weekend, we slept with all the windows open the whole time we were there, and all day, as well as at night. So when we got home from the beach yesterday, I thought, oh, I'm going to open the house up. It's going to be nice out. Well, yeah, it was nice during the day, but dang, it got cold in here last night. But I'm not closing them. I don't want the house to get super hot again. I'm, I really want to be done turning on the air conditioning now for the year and actually see my electric bill go down instead of up. So anyway, if you watched the video that I posted last night, I've been in Ocean City the last five days. We had a great, great time. Um, but we had a little surprise. In case you didn't read the description box under the video, the trip was me, my best friend Misty, and the dog. We left Wednesday, and we're coming home Sunday. So that's what we did. We left Wednesday, and a week or two ago, I had said something to Mike about how nice it would be if him and her husband Rick came down and joined us on the weekend after they were done working Friday. Because both of them are just about out of vacation time for the year. Um, I mean, they they have, like Mike only has two days left this year that doesn't already have planned for something. So, and I don't know how much Rick has, but we knew we didn't want them taking time off for Ocean City. I mean, Ocean City is a beach we've been going to for ages. This is the all season. It's not like they're missing anything. So anyway, we had mentioned about them coming down Friday after work. No, 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 you two enjoy yourselves. Or no, no, we're both going to work Saturday. Or blah, 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 blah. Like, okay, they weren't interested. Whatever. We'll just keep it a girls weekend with the dog and we'll have a good time. So, Thursday, I guess it was, Miss and I are both like, we miss our husband. Let's just get him to come down. We can talk him into it. So we're both on the phone with our husband. Why can't you come down? And my husband's like, no, I already told him I'd work, which he doesn't tell anybody when he's working on a Saturday. Mike pretty much makes his own hours, and nobody knows if he's coming in or not on Saturday. And he usually, when he works Saturdays, goes in at 4 and leaves at 8, and it's gone before our boss even arrives. Um, and then he had was saying that he already told his dad that he was going to go to this truck show with him on Saturday. I'm like, really? Really? You're going to miss spending some time at the beach with your wife to go look at truck shows, trucks in the area? No, why would you do that? So I was definitely bummed, and I was nagging him. I'm like, I was nagging, like, please, please, just text Rick. I'm not texting Rick. I'm like, oh my God, just please come down. I want to see you. No. So Friday, her and I are um, sitting on the beach. We got on the beach late Friday because it was very, very cloudy. Friday morning, so we went to get some body and did some shopping and stopped and got some crab dip. So we never got on the beach till like quarter of two. We were eating lunch at like 3.30, 4 o'clock on the beach, which we ate salads on the beach this week for lunch, which you saw in one of my pictures. We didn't come off the beach till 6 o'clock, so we were like tired. We didn't want to go out to eat, and our, we had all our breakfasts and lunches in while we were going. We were only eating dinners out. And I had wanted to go to Grotto Pizza, and she's like, well, why don't we just go pick up the pizza? It's only two blocks away. We'll pick up the pizza eat it here. I'm like, great. So it was actually nice. We got off the beach. We didn't. We took our showers, but we didn't have to do our hair, put any makeup on. Just lounged around. She went and picked up the pizza. We ate it on the deck. So we come inside. I don't know, 9:30 something like that, and we're just laying around the living room, and we're tired. We're just tired. And like a little after 10:30, I said, I'm gonna take this dog out one last time, and um, that I'm right for bed. Well. She's like, okay, and the whole time we're sitting there just talking, she's like playing on her phone, but she's coming up with these like recipes that she's telling me about, um, and she's telling me that she's texting her oldest daughter, Samantha, who has strep throat right now. I didn't really know what was truly going on the whole time. So like, again, right after 1030, I'm, the dog's on the couch with me, it's all sprawled out, and when you tell the dog it's time to go outside and go potty. He wants to start rolling around and wiggling and playing and 
it's like a little game for him. So I'm bent over playing with the dog time. Let's go potty, let's go potty. He's gone, nah, let's go potty. And I hear like the door open and I looked up at her and she looked up at me. And we were both like and I heard more commotion. I'm like, what the f is that? And that's exactly what I said. What is that? I was scared. I'm like, oh my God, did we not lock the door? Is someone coming in here? Then I saw her get this huge smile on her face. I turned around. There stands my husband. I literally screamed. I was, it was a complete shock. They snuck in the door. Now, she knew about this, too, the whole time. They claim that I think I know everything that's happening all the time and that I say I can never be surprised, which they've never pulled anything off yet. Even when my husband got together with them and another friend of mine to plan this huge surprise 40th birthday party for me, I found out just because I know. When somebody does something that's not in the norm and they're a, you know, a creature of habit, like my husband, I know. Well, they pulled it off on me this time. I was so surprised and so happy. So our husbands were down there then with us from Friday night all day Saturday. And then we just left yesterday about 11.30 to come home. So we were home here by 3.30 yesterday afternoon. So after all that blah, 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 blah that I just did, y'all are bored now. Um, it's now Monday morning. Everybody's back to work except me since I don't work. It's... 8.30. I got most of my laundry done last night. I still have a couple piles here. I mean, this was like a huge mound. Um, that is not a bed. What do you think you're going to do here? Dude, really? Yep, he's going to lay in it. Yep, there he is. Th that's dirty laundry. Really? It's dirty laundry. He's such a dork. So I've got laundry to do. I've got just a few groceries i got to pick up because he has no bananas for work, no yogurt for work. Um, since I didn't, I wasn't here Friday to go to market and go grocery shopping. So, and I need to clean the bathroom today. Because you know what it's like when a man spends a couple days in the house without you? I don't, no, no disrespect to the men out there who are clean. But my husband's so used to not having to lift a finger around here. I come home, there were dirty dishes. There's the bathroom. You can tell a guy has been in it and nothing's been wiped down. So that's my plan. Get my house back up to my living conditions today. So, I'll be back. Hey everyone, so back from running my errands. I had to stop by Mike's work because I forgot to spend his half gallon of milk with him this morning. So I dropped that off and got to visit. Um, then I went tanning and then I stopped at Walmart for what I thought was going to be yogurt and bananas. But you know how it is. You just can't get out with just the items on your list. So here's what I got at Walmart. Ignore this stuff. It's clean. My husband needs to put it away in the garage. A eight pound bag of jumbo baking potatoes. They are big ones. Beautiful baking potatoes. A pack of multi-grain wraps. Bananas. Some reduced fat triscuits. A can of tomato rice soup. I picked up two of these bowls. My bowls that I have like to eat like cereal or oatmeal or something in are like only about this high and really wide. They don't do well with milk and cereal. So I thought these would make two cute cereal bowls but they'd also work as small serving bowls and since it's just my husband and I they're like the perfect size. And yes they're Pioneer Woman. Some roasted salsa verde, spicy hot V8, some panko breadcrumbs, Four yogurts for Mike for work the rest of the week. Some Baby Bella mushrooms. Six pounds of rice, one white, two brown. Some croutons. A box of ratatouille pasta. Some cream cheese. A box of beef broth. And a naked juice for Mike's lunch. And then... And here, I picked up a couple clothing items for us. I don't spend a lot of money on clothes because my weight, God knows, is up and down like crazy. So I splurge on purses. That's my splurge. Clothes, not so much. But anyway, dog, you're in my way. I can't walk. I got Mike a pair of pajama pants, just black and white plaid. 
I also bought him a long sleeve white t-shirt, just regular crew neck. I got him some black sweatpants, Russell brand sweatpants, but they don't have the elastic bottoms, they're just the plain bottoms. I got myself a two pack of slippers. I needed new slippers. Now I've always bought Isotoner and I bought these two years ago and look at them. They both look like that. Look at that. And that's the good brand that you pay like 15 to 20 bucks for in the store. So I'm trying a two pack of the Walmart brand that cost me $4.97 so hopefully these hold up better than the name brand did. I'm sorry, everything seems like it looks so orange in here with this camera. Ignore my pile of blankets. I'm washing my sheets right now. And then I got this like orange and black heather looking crew neck tunic and a pair of navy blue leggings. So that's it for Walmart. Like I said, I'm washing my sheets, still trying to get my laundry done. I have a little boy that just wants me to sit on the chair and love him. Look, I'm winking. We'll have to sit and catch up on some YouTube videos because I haven't, I didn't watch any YouTube videos while I was gone, so anything y'all have posted that I subscribe to, I have been like off of YouTube since last Wednesday morning, so I probably have hours worth of catching up to do. But first, I gotta put these skirts away. Okay, time to start dinner. So if you watched my video called Packing for OCMD, you saw that I was making a whole bunch of food for Mike so that he had stuff to eat while I was gone. So he had dinner planned for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights, and even Sunday before I got home. Well then when he come down and surprised me, that left a lot of food that I prepared that he wasn't home to eat, and I'm not wasting it. So I am going to do a stir fry with some of the leftover food. So I'm going to heat my wok up. I have some leftover chicken, some leftover rice. This broccoli and cauliflower I had at the beach. Um, we were using it to make salads with to eat on the beach, so I'm going to fry some of that up. I'm going to do everything in an avocado oil. I have some sesame oil for the very end. I have the soy sauce. I have some green onions to put on top. And I'm even going to throw a little bit of spinach in for my. So yeah, that's the good thing about owning a wok. You just throw anything in there with some rice, call it a stir fry. All right, I'll be back. catastrophe. I gotta drain some of that off. Well, I couldn't drain any off. It kind of sucked it up right away. So, yeah, we're just gonna have some really flavorful stir-fry, that's for sure. Good lord. I hate the oh, stupid bottles without a little hole in the top. Alright, so I'm gonna push all this back and 
crack two eggs in here. Break them. Take my fork and just stir them up a little bit. And get some scrambled eggs flowing through there. Drop or two of sesame oil. Okay, I tasted it. It's good. Thank God it was a low sodium soy sauce, or I probably had to throw the whole thing in the garbage and we'd have to go out for dinner. But I tasted it and it definitely has a great flavor. Everything's cool, but oh lord, I need to pay more attention. Alright, so this is pretty much done. Just going to let it hang out on low until I'm going to get home, which is on his way now. And I have his spinach all wilted down here that I will throw on the top of his plate. I just put a little salt and pepper on that and some avocado oil. So that's ready to go. Just going to turn that on very low. And I have the green onions for on top of his. And that will be dinner tonight. Mm. Hey, well, I think it's time to sign off for the night. Just wanted to let you know that my slop and a wok dinner turned out fabulous, even though I thought it had way too much soy sauce when I started pouring, or accidentally dumped, I should say. The flavor was incredible at dinner, so what I thought was a giant disaster actually was just perfect. Um, so right now it's Monday, which means CSI Miami is calling my name. So I will talk to you later. Have a great day.